This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. WFAA.com reports police are searching for an inmate who managed to escape while assisting a cleanup of flooding after a sewer pipe broke at the Frank Crowley Courthouse just before 2 p.m. in Dallas. Juan Ramirez was helping mop up an area on the first floor of the courthouse located in the 100 block of North Riverfront Boulevard. Ramirez was arrested on a misdemeanor charge for giving false information about his identity. The fire marshal closed the courthouse and everyone evacuated because of the flooding. Only law enforcement and emergency personnel are allowed inside the courthouse. Sheriff deputies are working to find Ramirez. The Associated Press reports the price of gasoline in Texas has risen another two cents this week. AAA Texas reported Thursday that the average price of regular unleaded gasoline is now at $3.59. The national average is also up two cents to $3.76. The travel agency reports that spring break travelers in Texas will pay about $50 for a 14-gallon fill-up. That's about $2 higher than what travelers were paying a year ago. The most expensive gas in Texas is in El Paso at $3.66. Amarillo has the least expensive average of $3.41. Triple-A Texas says oil prices remained flat the past week. From KMOV.com, say goodbye to darkness and hello to longer days as daylight savings time begins this weekend. Beginning Sunday morning at 2 a.m., we will spring forward one hour. With the change in time, officials are reminding residents to take their proper steps to stay safe. Officials say since we're setting our clocks ahead one hour, now is the perfect time to check and replace batteries in smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.